We had a customer come in with a slim rack slide out in a motorhome and we couldn't set the stop point and it wasn't working correctly and we noticed there were some broken parts. So we got those replaced. We still couldn't set the stop point and tech support thought maybe it was a voltage issue, which it definitely was not a voltage issue and it had to be the signal circuit in my mind. So I got the manual to diagnose that and so this is a video on how to check that signal circuit. So the instructions are only a couple pages long. It'll show you here where the encoder power is. So you have to have power going to the encoder and you also have to put power to the motors. And then you measure with your meter on AC between these pins here. And I'll demonstrate that here on the bench. And then later we'll show you on the motorhome. So looking directly at the plug here, that single red wire is the positive power for the encoder or signal circuit. And this single black wire is the negative side of the power. So you have to uh, put power to the encoder and then you're gonna test from this black wire to this yellow wire and then from this black wire to this green wire okay and then your double black and red are going to be the motor so we've got to power the motor and the encoder so i power these separate and then i power these to where i can spin the motor then you have to measure ac volts between the black and yellow and then the black and green So I'm gonna test the encoder on this slim rack motor using the box. And this is a plug I got off of Schwintech. This is a power gear that they made up. And I'm missing one wire here that I'll install later. We'll just back probe this one for this test right here. And I've got some video of infield testing. I wanted to do it on the bench here to maybe uh, make it a little more clarified on how to do this. So on the side of the box, I've got some terminals there that let it allow us to access power. So what we're gonna use those for is supplying power to the encoder, which on here, these aren't color for color. I'll probably make one of these up one day that, that is color for color. But the black here is gonna to go to the orange. So we have to supply ground to the encoder power. So we're gonna do that right there. And I've got a back probe, one into here for the positive side. Then I've got the box, my wireless set up here. That's going to the motors because we got to spin the motors to do this, this test. So I've got a wire in the back of the plug here. We're going to apply a positive to there. AC volts. And then we have to go across the negative here. And then you have your yellow and your green. So we're gonna test both of those. So negative side of the meter is gonna to go to our orange wire here. So that corresponds with the black over here. And then our green and blue are hooked up to the green and yellow. And you can see here, one of the wires is producing seven volts AC and the other one is not zero so that circuit's bad in that motor so here I'm doing the test from the circuit board side so we're actually testing the wires and the motors at the same time you can see I have six volts AC there but on the other wire we do not so then I went inside 
and we back probed the motors and we checked it there. So we got the six volts on one side and on the other wire we do not. So it was the same on both motors. So then I replaced both motors and then we were able to set the stop points and the slide out was working good after that. So if you've never tested that type of circuit before, I hope that helps you understand it a little bit better. So thanks for watching.